Uh, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. The Green Party is, uh, will be supporting this bill to select committee. Uh, we think that it's an important bill and we want to hear the arguments. Uh, we want to have the debate in select committee around this, this, uh, around this bill. Uh, we think that the intent of the bill to encourage people to eat healthier food, uh, especially poorer families, is uh, an extremely important intent. Uh, moreover, we think that uh, the aim to reduce the price of food, particularly healthy food, um, is certainly a noble one and would certainly make it easier for poorer families to afford healthy food. We also know that if we can get people eating better food and healthier food, there are cascading benefits to the health of the individuals and to the cost of the health system itself. Uh, New Zealand actually has an obesity epidemic. Uh, it's one of the greatest problems actually facing uh, the New Zealand health system and New Zealand health in general. We actually have a slow-moving health catastrophe, uh, which is the obesity epidemic, uh, and the cost of diabetes and the treatment of diabetes will swamp the health system if we don't do something about it. Now, one of the key drivers uh, for the cost and the high cost of fruit and vegetables is the supermarket duopoly in New Zealand. Um, and one of the ways to address the high cost is to tackle the exorbitant markups that supermarkets put on fruit and vegetables. Uh, earlier this year, my colleague Sue Kedgley surveyed fruit and vegetable growers in New Zealand, and the growers reported that supermarkets, or rather the two supermarket chains that dominate 95% of the retail trade in New Zealand, routinely put markups of 100 to 200% on fruit and vegetables, sometimes as high as 500%. So a grower will sell a kilo of lemons for 70 cents and the supermarket will charge 3.99 for them, a 500, more than 500 per cent markup. Now these markups are obsessive and frankly obscene and are putting fruit and vegetables out of the reach of ordinary New Zealanders, whereas it is fresh fruit and vegetables that we absolutely need ordinary New Zealanders uh, to consume more of. So <clears throat> this is uh, one of the key issues that this bill is trying to address, is to get people to actually purchase uh, more fresh fruit and vegetables. And while obviously GST is one issue, there are some other issues as well. And it is these markups that supermarkets are putting on them that are influencing the eating habits of New Zealand and discouraging us from buying fruit and vegetables by making them too expensive. So that's one way, one effective way. Um, and I'd encourage members to support the development of a supermarket code of practice similar to what's in the United Kingdom. And my uh, colleague Sue Kedgley actually has a private member's bill to do that. So we're supporting this bill uh, because it is uh, one way to uh, actually address the high price of fruit and vegetables. Beyond the, um, the duopoly that drives up prices, uh, there's the further question uh, of whether a cut in GST would be passed on to consumers. Um, now there are absolutely no guarantees that cutting GST on fruit and vegetables would be passed on to consumers. Uh, it is of course a function of the duopoly. Um, that actually supermarket chains have an enormous leeway as to setting their own prices uh, for fruit and vegetables. So in the uh, select committee process, um, which I'm disappointed the National Party doesn't want to engage in, um, we can have the discussion about what is the best way to ensure that any cuts in GST uh, would, be passed on, uh, would be passed on to consumers. Uh, because the National Party has quite reasonably raised the issue um, as a concern as to whether cutting GST would result in that um, saving being passed on, but the National Party don't want to have the debate about it in select committee and actually take evidence where we can have the discussion. Um, <clears throat> Now, the other part of it is that, of course, supermarkets have a complex set of internal price trade-offs, um, so they discount one line in order to get consumers in. So the question is whether they would continue, whether, how much of the, of the cut would be passed on. The other concern around this bill, of course, is the compliance costs, uh, particularly for small business. Uh, we know that supermarkets will have a system to make it easy uh, for them to sort out what's, uh, what's GST-free and what isn't. Um, but for smaller businesses, this can be quite a significant issue. Um, and so we would hope that in select committee we would have a look at that. The other issue is around the, the reduction in government revenue. Um, this does involve a cut in government revenue. So the question that would need to be debated is the money that this costs, um, is this the most effective way to spend that money, uh, the, the, the foregone government revenue? And that was the debate that we would all like very much to have in select committee around this excellent bill. Um, and of course we can only have that um, debate in select committee um, if a majority of this House passes this bill tonight. So we certainly support this bill. There are very strong arguments for encouraging New Zealanders and particularly poorer New Zealanders to eat 
healthy fruit and vegetables and healthy food, and we will certainly be supporting this bill to select committee tonight. Mr. Speaker. Honourable.